cooking Caribbean cuisine with Larry Fenelier. Whatever. Anyway, we're here. It's three. It's four o'clock my time, three o'clock Eastern time. Since you guys in the states put your clocks back, I am not going to follow like I did last year. My show was going on at five my time, and you know, just to accommodate. No, no, no. This year, it's a new deal. Four o'clock. My time, three o'clock your time. Okay. Anyway, one o'clock my time. Two o'clock <laughs> my time. <laughs> and Richard, what well, is in South Africa? We we gonna get to Richard. So anyway, ten o'clock my time. Ten o'clock your time. <laughs> so today we're doing um ahi, and with a Caribbean mango salsa, and Julia Senesak, she will be the one in the kitchen today. She's be, she'll be in the hot seat. But before we get to Julia, let me introduce. The folks in the peanut gallery, starting on my left, which should be you guys right. We have George Sepich. Hey, Please. George. Glad to get be to here. Get to see you, Captain. Yes, well, we're gonna get we're gonna get to that in a few. And next, the lady in the hot seat, Julia Senesak. Jules, what's that you're drinking there? This is uh, this is a blue ocean cocktail. I just threw together coconut rum, a little pineapple juice, some. Um, Midori, you know, it's it, very tropical. It looks green. Maybe you have moss in it. Maybe that ocean has some seaweed or something. Yeah. <laughs> are, are there any crabs in the bottom of the glass? <laughs> no, it's good. Okay. Uh, then we have Richard from South Africa. Everybody's in their pirate gear today. Reason being... Cheers, sir. Cheers, cheers to you, sir. Reason being, uh, Captain George Seppich is here and... We've been giving him shit. We've been giving him crap, right? <laughs> because we want to get the pirates pub back on stream, Be right? Careful! <laughs> I've got a new blade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Richard, Richard is from South Africa, and what's your beverage today, Rich? Uh, well, I'm busy drinking some uh, Roy Boss iced tea. Rooibos is, of course, the South African herbal tea, and this is just a brand of lemon iced tea. Right, and it matches your shirt, and you're the boss. And I think you did, <laughs> I think you did a video on how to correctly pronounce that, did, did you not? Yeah, maybe maybe I'll add some of this. I don't know. I'm still concentrating. Ooh, some rum. well, that's rum, right? Red Heart. <laughs> nice, nice. So everybody's getting their drink on. Shadia. Shadia is from Curacao. About an hour away from me via plane, Curacao, Miss Curacao, what are you doing today? Well, just hanging out. I'm excited to see what uh, Julie is going to cook. I'm yeah. very interested in the mango sauce the side of things. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, we, we're from the Caribbean, and uh, we eat a lot of mango and use a lot yeah. of mango in everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. And it's fabulous mango. We love yeah. it. Okay, so there you have it. Everybody in the film ship has been uh, introduced, so now we go into Julia in her kitchen. Okay. So Jules. Okay. We hey, got. Larry, the... did you, you forgot to introduce the skillet cam. Oh, yeah, oh skillet yay! Cam. Skillet cam. That's <laughs> that is where the ahi tuna will be sizzling or searing. That's where the magic happens. <laughs> yeah, that's where the magic happens. <laughs> Good point. All right, so Jules. Yeah. Crank that heat up. Um. Add a little, add a little oil to it. Not much. Not much. Um, folks, there are different ways we can cook or sear or prepare ahi tuna. Um, Sorry, dog was barking. You know, he's got that old dog thing going on. Okay, so I have, the, I've had the heat on for a while, getting the pan okay. hot. Okay, good. Put a little oil in it, please. Uh, olive or sesame or coconut? No, uh, no, we we gotta keep with the sesame theme, so it's a little Japanese thing we have mixing okay, so with the oil. with the Caribbean. Yeah, uh huh. So you need to open sesame. Open sesame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just right, and just just pick it up and swirl it around. Just pick it up and swirl it around. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. All right. So we have nice. We. we yeah, we have the tuna just on the side there. So if you can introduce the tuna, all right. Hello, so we, tuna. Hello, right. Hello. Now, 
Okay, so put a little oil on that and um, put a little salt on it. On the tuna? On the tuna, just a little salt. You, 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 you could move it off. Yeah, move the pan off the off there. Okay, so I'm gonna put the oil on it. All right, rub it, rub it down both sides. Okay, and now a little it's salt. A little salt. It's a tuna massage. Mm -hmm. A little tuna massage, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some scrub. Right, <laughs> and you you have some sesame seeds there, right? I do. Okay, great. Folks, I, I didn't call for this in the recipe, but you can do some white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds with a little black pepper and just coat. You want to coat both sides of the tuna steaks. Okay, so let's do that. First of all, let me just pull the, you know, the sesame oil gets so hot really fast. It has yeah. a low burn, burn point. So I'm pulling it off just for a second. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dunk my fish right in the sesame like this, right? Right. Now, if you had a little black sesame seeds, it would have been a nice contrast. Black and white, black and white. I get it, because we yeah. just did this on the fly. Right. We just kind of did that on the fly, right. Now, so, if, if you don't like sesame seeds or if you're allergic to sesame seeds, you don't have to put sesame seeds. Who doesn't there. like sesame seeds? Uh, there's some people who are allergic to it. All right. So we got okay. oil again. So, and we've got our fish now pretty coated here. How's okay, that? no, that's good. That looks good. Now we want to get a nice sizzle going. All right? I think it's hot. Okay. You ready? Yep. Let's put it down. All right. Okay, now, it all depends on how you like your tuna. Personally, I find it pretty rare. Right, that's how I like it too. So you want to do maybe 30 or 40 seconds, 45 seconds at best, okay. on each side. Okay, if flip you, it. And then we can flip it. Uh, I don't think it's 45 seconds yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Watching. I I should have had the pirates clock in the background. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and Julia, I have I have a tip for you. I just want you to remember you you uh, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> tuna, 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 do you love me? All right, it's about forty-five seconds there, Drew. Okay, let's give it a try. Flipping it over. Ah, ah. nice. Okay. All right. All right. Looks good. Okay, and so we're just gonna give it about the same because I can see how quickly it cooked, and I'll show right. you that as soon as I pick it up. Yeah, so we might want to reduce the, the cooking on that side now, since 45 seconds, you know, sort of right. brought the cooking right through, and they're not really thick. Right. Those pieces of um, tuna. So oh. you might wanna you might wanna take it out, take it out now. Okay, now I want to show you the side of it. See? Right. You can see how it's cooked quite a lot. Look at here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So there we go. We're yeah. going to put it on there. Mm -hmm. Right? And okay. now we can go in the fridge, right? Right. Now, okay, what we're going to do now, folks, is put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer so it'll stop the cooking process, cool it down, and when and harden it up so when we slice it, it'll be nice and pink on the inside. All right. And it'll be easy to slice too once you once yeah. you give it a good freeze. Yeah. So while while that is going, um, since <clears throat> since the board is not the board, but since the stove is kind of hot there, Jules, you got a board to put. A, okay, right. Yeah, I got a board here, but here let me do this. Pull it over just a little bit so we can have a little bit better of an angle. How's that angle? That's good. Yeah. I think that looks like the plank from the Pirates Pub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now she's going to make Jules is going to make the Caribbean oh. mango salsa. Okay. Right. Oh, what about the uh, soy sauce reduction you were talking about, Larry? Should we oh. do that? Yeah, the soy sauce reduction. Uh, that is something you can do for the tuna as far as um, a little sauce. Okay, so I've got a little tiny nice sauce. So here. yeah, it's it's basically soy sauce. Fresh ginger juice, and you get ginger juice from um, squeeze, uh, cutting up some ginger and squeezing it 
to extract the juice from it. Okay. And you mix that with the soy sauce, add a little bit of, um, well, you don't need to put any sugar because you're going to get the sweetness from the mangoes and, and the pineapple if, if, you're going, if you're choosing to use that. But that's it. And you just put that on the stove and reduce that down. And okay. um, I it got will, it well, you, you, don't, you don't have to do jewels, but <laughs> if you want to. Okay. And I used powdered ginger because I didn't have ginger juice, and I know right. that was and, too good. But and, and, and you could also, and you need a little bit of cornstarch. Okay. A little cornstarch and water um, once it starts to reduce down. All right, hold on. Mm -hmm. I've got it. I've got a little bit of cornstarch. Right. You've got a lot of cornstarch. <laughs> <laughs> I like to use cornstarch instead of um, flour in anything like uh, coating meat and things like that. I use it a nice, a nicer. Yeah, so you put a little bit of water in the cornstarch, mix it up, and you could throw it in the pot with the soy sauce and the mango. Oh God, not mango. Um, soy sauce and ginger. Ginger, now, ginger, yeah. ginger, ginger. Now, are we going to wait on that a little bit? Let it reduce first, and then add it in. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I've got about, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I hate it when I turn the wrong burner on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can slide it back now. We just burnt our, our little tray a little bit. That's okay. Our wood board. It won't be the first time I've done that. That's the captain's plank you're burning there. No. Yeah, I know it. Let's see. Let's see what you, happens. You, you don't burn it too much. You may be walking that later. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. It's all good. It's, it's all, all good. good. All right, just slide it back in and let's let's yep. make the let's make the salsa. So, okay. We're going to slice up the mango. Okay. Okay, yeah, you cut the faces off first because there's, for those of you who are not accustomed with mangoes, there's a big hard seed in the middle. In the so middle. you want to basically cut out the flesh. You yeah, do like what you... Sounds so violent. <laughs> <laughs> you do like what Julia's doing. So you're, you're cutting all the flesh around the seed and then you're going to discard the seed. Even though here some people cook the seed with a little curry. What would you do with it once you cooked it? The inside. They, they eat the inside. Really? Yeah. There's a little there's a little bud inside inside the seed. That's a, a baby mango tree. They're so basically eating babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're talking about zombies. Embryos. Or <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got a lot of nice mango. Now here's what I like to do with mango seed. Mm. Mm, it's yeah. the rest of the food off of it. Yeah, exactly. But that was uh, a really yellow mango. I always have a, here we always have the orange purplish one. Mm. I think those uh, Julia, Julia is in uh Colorado and Yeah, but we don't you, grow any mangoes yeah, here. I know, I know. You probably <laughs> you probably get them you probably get them from uh, Mexico or uh, possibly for California. Side. Oh, California, yeah. Or, or maybe, yeah, probably. Maybe, maybe there's a yellow snow influence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you who are meeting George for the first time, he is loaded with puns. <laughs> yeah, he's loaded with puns. <laughs> let's, get the, uh, let's get the counter knife out, and so we're going to need that to scrape all that mango up in a minute. All right. So, okay, Julia is cutting up the mango, and we're going to be putting that in a bowl. Yep. So the mango is going to be the first thing going in, then the half of an onion, because you don't want too much onion in, in the... Um, right. I figured that. I cut yeah, this off, yeah. So. Half of an onion, and notice she has three peppers there. Uh, now, usually in the Caribbean... We use Scotch bonnet, but I believe one looks like the jalapeno. Yes. That's the green, and the other two are what? Serrano? Habaneros. Habaneros, sorry. Oh, habaneros, yeah. 
The habaneros are the ones we have here. You guys have habaneros there, okay? Yeah. Uh, the habaneros are not as hot as the Scotch bonnet. No. No, they're not. But they're they're about. Um, some very hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, the habaneros, the, the, at least the ones I used to grow in my garden, had a lot of lot of heat. So. They're, but they're, but George, didn't you grow some Scotch bonnets last year or something? You you. Yeah, I had I had them going, and then and then my green thumb turned a different color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they um they. Yeah, we, we had a little funeral ceremony for him. All right. Because I, I was kind of, I was kind of actually looking forward to seeing those. I know, I know. All right, so we've got the mango in there. Do you want a little mm. more mango? I have another one. We could add. Oh, yeah, that's 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 okay. Honey? Maybe okay. maybe you could use half of that um, onion. Half of that half. Half of this half. Okay, yeah. sure can. Sure can. Okay. We're going to do this pretty finely, right? Yeah, it's um, diced. Okay. We're going to dice it up. Richard, before we came online, you, you showed me some um, tomato sauce, as you call it, down there in South Africa, which the rest of the world calls it ketchup. Let's let's see that. No, I um, think, I think uh, very much the English-speaking world calls it tomato sauce. Oh, okay. At, well, at least uh, you know, like the UK and Australia and New Zealand, but obviously so, there is a lot of American influence. Uh, some people call it ketchup as well. But anyway, yeah. this is um, <clears throat> a favorite South African tomato sauce. It's um, it's all gold tomato sauce. And and how many how many tomatoes sacrificed for each? Container? There's this. Apparently, there's there's um, thirty six. Tomatoes in every bottle. Wow, so that is probably. I don't know what size bottle either. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but um, if, if you're wondering what it tastes like, it's 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 sort of similar to Heinz, but much better. Oh, much better than Heinz. Wow, that yeah, that says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is, this, this, this is this is how I this is how I make tomato sauce. <laughs> I think, I think that's a good start, George, but you just need, it just, you just need, it need the vinegar need, as well. You need it the just vinegar. Need about, about 36, uh, 35 more. <laughs> and then you can bottle it and have your own. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get back to Jules. She is now I'm on the... I'm just chopping away here on my yeah, red pepper now. On the red peppers, yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> and uh, my... Uh, Soy sauce is reducing back here nicely. Okay, once it's re uh, did you put the um, the cornstarch and the water in it yet? Not yet. Okay, uh, you could probably add it. Uh, let me see what it looks like. I uh, could reduce a little bit more. Yeah, we could reduce more. I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want it? Go ahead and turn that back. Up yeah. Yeah, turn it on full blast. Right. The colors, the colors are popping. Good. With the mm -hmm. mango salsa, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now this is half of the pepper because. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to. Pepper, so we may not need the whole thing. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. And those get diced. Mm -hmm. All right. About the get... size of the mango pieces. I'm making the mm -hmm. red peppers about the same size. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, yeah, just pop it in. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. Now we have other stuff to add, but here so far, in here we've got the mango, the red pepper, and the red onion. That's looking okay, very nice. Okay, that's that, that looking very nice. And now we can add the uh, the peppers. Okay. Well, and we have cilantro. Actually, actually um, the cilantro we can throw that in last. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Let's put in the peppers now. Uh, probably. It all depends on how hot you like it, folks. If you like a lot of heat, maybe you want to use all three. Um, if you don't, you could probably maybe use um, one jalapeno or one habanero. One hot. You know what? This yeah. is not. This is serrano. I made a mistake. Uh, oh, it's serrano. Okay. Yeah, I figured it kind of looked like serrano. 
Still hot, though. Yeah, okay. Now, here's what Julia does. She takes the seeds out. Yeah, once you take the seeds out and the membrane, that's that's the heat right there. That goes. So that won't be hot. Will not be too hot. No, because that's where the heat is, in the seeds and in that uh, white membrane. Right. So I like to, when I'm doing this now, I'm not wearing gloves, but I am being careful. I cut it in half, and I try not to touch it too much. And certainly I'm not going to touch my face. Okay. Now your, I'm eye not, really your eye is not itching right now. Your eye, my eye is not, not itching. itching. That's correct, George. It is not. Yeah, so, yeah, Jules, you could just use that one pepper on, on account of time. Okay. And like I said, it's all subjective, folks. If, if you like a lot of heat, use all the peppers. If you, have, if you can get your hands on um, Scotch Bonnet, all you need is one, or maybe half of that. Right. Because those are very hot peppers. Okay. How many, go how many ghost go peppers, Larry? Now what? <laughs> you still need lime juice? Uh, yeah. Cream? Okay, what else? Uh, get get the, uh, mix that up, get some lime juice, or lemon juice, lime, yeah. Just cut it in half, squeeze it in there. Oh, hard lime. Here. The Larry trick. The Larry yeah, trick. We're going to heat it up and squeeze yeah, it. Yeah, ten, 10 seconds in really the microwave. No yeah, those, those are hard, yeah. Montreux, we still have that. And we need cumin, right? Yeah. Okay. Larry says throw it in the microwave for a minute and it'll help. Mm -hmm. Didn't help much. Okay, well, those are probably some dry, some dry ass limes you got. Dry there. ass limes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we have another one. Let's try right. it. Shall we? Yeah. You need some lime juice in it, damn it. Yeah. I ask limes, as we're going to say. Okay. So I'm gonna, next time I go to the grocery store, I'm going to specifically <laughs> ask for those. Yeah, I, I can see the juice. Now now add some salt. That's good. That's good. That's good. Add some salt. Add a little more salt. Looks good. How's that? Mix it up. That's good. Add a little black pepper if you want. Sure. I love, I love the black pepper in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now you just uh, break off some cilantro and and chop it up. And that's... That much? Yeah. Try it. Well, what you can do is fold, fold that in half and fold that in half again. I'm good. Okay. Or not. <laughs> to make to make uh, well, she's making a chiffonade cut or a ribbon cut, as you can see. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. And yep. And mix that up. Looks delicious. Smells. Now, 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 take a little taste. Take a little taste. You might have to add a little salt because you, you got a lot of lime juice in there. Yeah, I know. Kind of perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. All right. Now, yep. let's go and get your ahi out of the freezer. All right. Be because we, we, oh, well, let's look at the um, reduction. If okay. it hasn't reduced yet, don't worry about it. Um, oh, it's reduced. So we add uh, a little... Cornstarch. Yeah. yeah, add a little cornstarch and water. Okay, so we don't yeah. have to pitch in there, so we're just going to try a little bit to start with. Right. Alright, All right. and um, you could clear that out and bring the tuna. Um, bring in the tuna! It's coming! Yahoo! Check it out. Okay, yeah, you, you, you will have to kind of move it more up front and center. I so, will. Okay, here so we go. Can, yeah, so you can put it on the board and, and cut it. Yeah, move, move, move the salsa. Or move the, move the camera. Or move it down a little bit. Yeah, right, okay. okay. Take, take, it out, take it out of the plate so we could cut it on the board. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Yeah, just one, one slice. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Just the one for the moment. Okay. So, cut it. All right, we'll cut it. Let's see, should we go this way? Yeah, I could go that way. Cut it and, yeah. Ooh, perfect. All right, nice. Doesn't that look good? Uh huh. That looks very pink. Love yep. it. That's Ooh. my way to eat it, for sure. Awesome. Okay, so now you can, uh, after you cut it, you can get your plate and dress it. You can now plate. Got the plate! Salsa first, right? Are we going to lay it on the salsa, put the fish on the salsa? Well, you, you want to put the salsa on the side. You want to put the fish Yeah, you want to kind of show, right, exactly, right, and put put the salsa next to it. Mm. Ser delicious. Okay, and put, put a little more salsa towards the back on that same side. Yeah, just uh, the whole length of the... Uh, the strip. Okay. Nice. And if you have some of that black sauce. Hold on. There, go again for the picture. Okay. 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 Now, I mean, those turned out. I keep moving it. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. Now, now, now you could. Oh. Just, just some of the sauce on there. All right. I'll just let me get some sauce on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you want to hold it. You want to hold it in the, on the camera, though. We we obviously know your hands. All right. I'm sorry. You know what? We're just not in our same space as we usually are. Yeah, I know. It's a uh, little, so, so tight. So bring it up. What you're gonna do is just just move just move the bowl of salad over, or just yeah, just put that there. Now are we in a good space? Okay. Good. Yeah. Ready? Gonna go a nice little fine line. Lovely. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's lovely. Very nice. Very nice. Good presentation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Colorful. <laughs> okay, Jules. What I would like you to do before you eat it, uh, get your cell phone and take a picture of it, or your camera and take a picture of it, of it and. Um, because I want to use that as the cover photo for the video. All right, hold on. Let's get a nice picture. Yeah. Do that right here. So, George, what, what do you think? You think there's something you can you can do? Me? No, talking to George. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think I would like I, I would like to give this a try. This uh, looks like a, a really um, really good presentation and looks tasteful and uh, it's like mm, yeah I definitely want to try it. I, I actually I actually have I, I should probably buy some fresh salmon but I have some wild salmon in my freezer that I could use but I'll probably I'd probably want to go and get some fresh get some tuna get some tuna get some tuna, get some tuna. it's tuna so, yeah tuna, tuna. Matt. yeah yeah right so, okay hold on let's get one more picture like this Okay, Shadia, what about you? Something you'll definitely try? Of course. Nice. And I'm already nice. figuring out where I'm <laughs> going to get some all the ingredients. <laughs> okay, so, Jules, now, now you can taste it. Okay, I'm dying to taste it because it looks delicious. So first of all, let me get my little piece here that I want to just... Mmm. Ooh, the tuna is delicious. Oh, my mouth is watering. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold it under the um, um, skillet cam, stove top cam. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. And that's what up, you call teasing people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pick up, pick up some salsa, right, right. Pick the salsa is delicious. And what's happening with the, 
with the sauce that we that we quickly made and the sweetness from the mango and the lime juice it's all coming together nicely and that tuna is, is taking on flavor after flavor after flavor well the tuna is so nice because the sesame seeds are just fabulous with it first of right. all mm -hmm. and that was mm -hmm. lovely but the mango salsa has a, has sweetness but it's not overly sweet and um, it's just a perfect accompaniment really and then it's got a little heat of course with the with the pepper in there and I didn't put that much pepper in but it's actually probably perfect for me and then the um, you know the intense little bit of the um, reduction of the soy sauce is, mm -hmm. is kind of salty there so we've got the lime and the sweet of the mango and the hot mm -hmm. the little bite of the pepper and then you know mm. so, so mm -hmm. how, how did the heat turn out is it like kind of medium or how, how? It's probably light okay yeah and um, Jamie Hamill Smith, he just asked, how ripe should the mango be? I know Jamie. Jamie's right. from Trinidad, but I think he lives in California right now. Uh, Jamie, it should be, you know how we eat it here in Trinidad, nice and ripe, or it could be half ripe, uh, but firm, but firm. The one I have is pretty ripe. Yeah. Because that makes okay. it sweeter. And yeah. I'm that you don't put anything else sweet in here, you know, it needs that sweet. Correct, correct. Mm. And uh, Claudia, Claudia says, "Wow, that looks fantastic." <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So there you have it, guys and girls. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So according to Pirate Clock, we are about four minutes over. So George, when is the Pirate Cup Pub going to be coming back, buddy? Hey, that's a good question. <laughs> Well, you know, I gotta, I gotta uh, gather up the crew again because you're scattered all over the globe, and uh, and we need some new crew members, and, and including some new musical guests. Uh, uh, so, if uh, any of you out there in uh, G Plus and YouTube land are listening, and you're a singer, a songwriter, and a guitarist, uh, and uh, do your own material, we'd be happy to entertain you being a regular on the Pirates Pub, and. Uh, I'm still holding out though for uh, Shadia to uh, be a regular. So if she commits, maybe we'll make it happen soon. Or putting you on the spot, Shadia. You oh got, you yeah. Got, you got a no, bribe. I'm up for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, before All we right. leave, we have one more question. We have one more question from Alexandra Gonzalez, Ricky Gonzalez. Uh, she asks, "Could I make this vegan?" Well, uh, the mango salsa definitely. You could you could uh, do that as as vegan as you as you want, uh, but of course the ahi tuna it's meat so you won't eat that. But the the um, tofu with sesame seeds brown though. Okay, tofu. Probably right. right. Okay, there you go, there you go, Alexandra. <laughs> tofu with some sesame seeds and it tastes just like tuna. <laughs> or, or, or how, how about a how about a how about a mushroom? Ah. Uh, Sure. And mushrooms, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Portobello mushroom. Portobello mm -hmm. mushroom, and it, uh, mm -hmm. and you, you you do the same reduction sauce and you know sear it, everything. Yeah, and you have the mango salsa there. So thanks, George. Thanks to the question, Alexandra. Thanks to the response, Julia and George. So <clears throat> Larry Finley is saying, on behalf of George, Julia. Skillet Cam, Richard, Shadia, saying goodbye from Trinidad and Tobago. See you guys next time. All right. Bye. 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 B